I can't let him go. Well, I'm sorry, too. Because I can't be here as chief of security while something like this is going on. Either it stops or I resign, effective immediately. What will it be, Captain? You wanted to see me, Captain? Mr. Garibaldi has taken a brief leave of absence. On this kind of short notice, he wouldn't do uh, Until his return, I'm putting you in charge of the prisoner. No one is to see him or talk to him. Yes, sir. Yes? We've got Veer Cotto asking to see you, Captain. It'll have to wait. He says it's urgent. All right, all right. Um, tell him I'll see him in my office in 10 minutes. It shouldn't take long. Yes, sir. Um, anything else? Find Talia Winters. Bring her here. I'm short on time, Mr. Cotto, so if you'll please tell me what is so urgent. It's about Mr. Morton. You know him? Well, Ambassador Mallory has had some dealings with him. I have orders to ask for his immediate release. So what makes you think we have him? Well, he had an appointment to pick up some materials. One thing about Mr. Morton is he never misses an appointment. The station's records show that he didn't leave, so I conclude that you must have him. We do. Ah. We're holding him for questioning. Regarding? I'm afraid that's confidential. Nonetheless, Ambassador Mallory has asked for me to insist upon his immediate release. He's an official guest of the Centauri Republic and thus is eligible for diplomatic immunity. Well, that is an awfully long way to go on behalf of this guy. Why? What's he mean to Londo? Who is he? He must have a lot of clout with the Centauri Republic. But so far as he's told us, he's just an ordinary traitor. I'm sorry. That's an internal matter. But I've told you we are extending diplomatic immunity to Mr. Morton, so please release him. Diplomatic immunity only applies when the subject is charged with a crime. So far, Mr. Morton hasn't been charged. We're holding him in uh, protective custody. Protecting him from what? I haven't decided yet. Good day, Mr. Cotto. Captain, may I talk to you for a minute? It's about this Morton. Get in line, Commander. I'm serious. I just spoke to Garibaldi. I assume he briefed you. He did. Then you know everything you need to know. No, I don't. Captain, listen. As your executive officer, it's my responsibility to notify you if I think that your behavior is becoming... Irrational? That's as good a word as any. Thank you for your notification, Commander. Now, if you don't mind... Captain, look, you're forcing me into a position where I'm going to have to report this, and I don't want to have to do that. Don't you understand? I... I do understand, Commander. I know how I look, I know how I sound, but I have to do this. For 10 years, the only things that mattered to me were my wife and my career. When she died, she took the best part of me with her. I survived by telling myself that it was an accident, like everybody said, and focusing on the one other thing that I had left, my job. And now, suddenly, that's all turned upside down. Maybe she was killed by that man sitting in isolation right now. If you were in my position, would you let him go? If you had that doubt in your mind, could you? No, I couldn't. Neither can I. Because the other possibility is that if he is alive, then maybe she is alive. And either way, I have to know. Because without that, Nothing else means one damn. I'm sorry, Captain, but I can't oblige you on this. PSYCOR rules prohibit unauthorized scans in civil or criminal investigations. How can it be unauthorized? According to Earth's central records, he is supposed to be dead. Can a dead man object? Captain, you're trying to use the letter of the law to defeat the spirit of the law. Now, if you can get him to agree to a scan without duress... He won't. 